to another video with your girl curl and today we're going to talk about being you nobody but but you already know if you feel like you can benefit from some encouraging videos by all means go ahead and hit that subscribe button click like share and comment okay so let's talk about you being you being yourself being the best you you can be stop trying to be like somebody else Keep your eyes on the prize because when your eyes are everywhere else, you forget who you are. You lose who you are. Be you. Nobody but. God didn't make you a copy. God didn't make you to be a copy. God didn't make you to be somebody else fit to fit in this box that you are unhappy in, that you are miserable in because you're trying to be someone else or you're trying to do what everybody else is doing or you're trying to be what somebody else wants you to be. You can't do anything but be you. Either they're going to accept it or they're going to hit the road. You um, you lose yourself because you want to be um, somebody else or more than what you think you are. But you just don't realize how awesome and amazing that you are. All the things that you can bring to this world. You haven't um, tapped into your greatness yet. You're too busy trying to tap into everybody else's greatness. Tap into who you are. Tap into your greatness. Accept who you are. Change the things that you can and accept what you can. God didn't make a mistake when he made you. So why are you trying to um, perfect things that don't need to be perfected? If it's not broke, don't fix it. God is so amazed at you. Because you are original. He has a specific assignment just for you. And you can't even um, get to where you need to be because your focus is so off. It's not where it, needs, where it needs to be. And it needs to be on yourself. You are beautiful. Love everything about yourself. You, um, Everybody has imperfections. No one is perfect. No one is perfect. So look yourself in the mirror and begin to tell yourself that you are beautiful. You are awesome. You are handsome. You are wonderfully made. God made no mistake when he made, made you. Speak life. Do affirmations. Know that. Know that you are awesome. And begin to, and begin to just live in that awesomeness. Begin to live in who God has made you to be. Stop trying to be something that you're not. Because it puts you in a box of unhappiness, depression, um, anything that is negative, any negative mood, it puts you in a spot that you don't want to be. Embrace the beauty that is within. Embrace the beauty that is without. I mean, that is it on the outside. And just embrace who you are. Embrace your beautiful hair. Um, it might not be the most waviest or the most cur uh, curly, curly, but so what? It's your hair embrace it embrace who you are embrace your skin color embrace your body embrace your smile embrace your teeth your eyes just embrace who you are just embrace who you are and if you feel like you need a few little tweaks and changes the things that you can change change them don't don't feel like um you're a loser or you're a nobody because you don't fit in that box that somebody tells you that you need to be in or you don't look like this person or you don't look like that person or you don't dress like that person because you're not that person. You are who you are. So be amazing in who you are. God never makes mistakes. He never makes mistakes. So he definitely didn't make one when he made you. Be original. Love who you are. Love the space that you're in. Love everything about yourself. And if you want, like I said, if you want to make a few little tweaks, then, then, then do that. You want to lose a little weight, do that. Um, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not um uh, against anybody that wants to make some changes in their lives, but make positive changes. Don't change things because this person told you to, or you want this person to like you more, or you want to um, be appeasing to this person, or don't do that. You do all the necessary changes in your life for yourself. You are important. Make sure that you are happy because if you're not happy, then your surroundings won't be happy. But be happy with who you are. 
be happy with who you are. A lot of us um, try to hide behind, hide behind, um, hide behind this mask that we create. So you won't really know who the true us or you really don't know because people have told you that they didn't like this or they didn't like that about you. And so you try to max, mask that. Don't do that. They're either going to get with you or they're not. You're, you are not going to be everybody's cup of tea and that's okay. I'm not everybody's cup of tea and that's okay. I really don't care. It doesn't really matter. At a time in my life, it did matter. I wanted everybody to like me. I cared about how everybody thought about me. That don't matter. It doesn't matter. I embrace the people that love me and that and that embrace me back. I roll with the people that roll with me. I rock with the people that rock with me. I don't try to impress. I don't try to fit in anymore. Like it doesn't matter. I love who I am and I am going to tweak the little things that I want to tweak and I'm going to embrace everything that I can't change because God made me original. He didn't make me a copy. I love Carol Lee Moon. I love who I am and I love who I am becoming because I finally know my worth and I know my purpose in this world and I'm going to execute, elevate all of that. I love being me. And I can't be nobody else but. And I will never, ever put myself in a box ever again. And I will never, ever experience that depression and that and that not loving myself and not liking myself because I wasn't appeasing to somebody else or um, I didn't fit what I thought was beautiful or what I thought was smart or whatever. Whatever it is, I won't ever do that to myself ever again. I will live freely. I will live the life that I want to live and I will live how I want to. You either like it or you don't. And it's cool. If you don't, hey, you know what you can do. Period. But anyway, let me tell you this. I love you. Love who you are. Love yourself first. Know that you are amazing, that you are awesome, and that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Continue to be you, no matter what anybody tells you, no matter what people say they don't like, um, you need to do this, you need to do that. Continue to be you. Be a positive version of yourself. Be a happy version of yourself. Be an amazing version of yourself. Never let allow negative people, negative thoughts, and anything that keep you bound and keep you not being happy and who God has intended you to be, like that stuff, keep it away from you. Keep it away from you. Always speak life over yourself. When you feeling, when you begin to feel negative or you begin to feel overwhelmed and you begin to feel like you can't accomplish this and do that, begin to speak life over yourself because you are awesome. You are awesome just the way that you are. God loves you. I love you. Love yourself. Be blessed. Remember, be fearless. Remember faith over fear. I, oh, I just love you. I love people and I hope that you love me back. But if you don't, A, it don't stop who I am because I am who I am. I love me. I know God loves me and my family loves me and that's all that matters. But until next time, I love you. Have an amazing, amazing day, amazing week. And um, just always be positive in every situation. Think positive, be positive. Until next time. Mwah.